wanted to uh, do a video first and foremost. Uh, my name is Carl and I'm a cancer survivor. And I've done this talk a few times for youth sports teams uh, just to make them aware of tobacco and um, the ills of chewing tobacco. But I wanted a bigger audience and I wanted to reach more people so I decided to record it. And uh, the, the scenario goes something like this. You're 13, 14, 15 years old and uh, you're hanging out with your friends and one of your friends, I can have a prop here, one of your friends says, would you like a dip? Now, this one actually is berry. So he offers, and this is an awkward part because you don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like candy. It smells like candy and he does it. So what I wanted to do was give you a line and a way out. So the name of this talk is, uh, no thank you, I know a guy. And that guy's me. So uh, I've, a little bit about my story. Uh, I was chewing off and on, mostly on, for 25 years. Um, I developed a, a lump on my neck. Uh, after a series of tests, uh, they finally did a biopsy and they called me up and said, your tests are, are ready, we want to go over them. And I said, sure, I'll come in. And they said, uh, by the way, we'd like you to bring your wife. Uh oh. So that's when they told me that this was cancer. I have an addictive personality, so uh, uh, I'm an A-type personality, so I uh, actually chew a lot. So I had a chew going on all the time. So what better time than to have a chew than hunting or fishing? Here's a great example here. Uh, being a baseball coach with the kids out there. Here's um, getting a Christmas tree. Everybody has to have a chew in when you're doing that. Um, my wife and I have had the opportunity to travel, and here's me in Rome, Italy, having a big fat chew. Now, here's me without a chew. This is after, it's hard for me to look at, this is after 11 and a half hours of surgery. Um, they had to cut my jaw, they took my ear off, um, they scraped this, and technically it's called culling the nodes where they just scraped all this bad stuff out of here. This scar goes from here all the way down to here. So um, that's a feeding tube that was in my nose. That's the way I ate for the next uh, 10 days. Uh, you see a trach there. Um, in the other picture, you'll get a chance to see a port. Um, these are drainage tubes on here. This was uncomfortable too because the, all of that crud was draining out while I was there. Um, that port actually was for uh, chemotherapy uh, to go in there. This one's kind of hard for me to look at too because I had a problem with that. That's when I did radiation and they shot radiation here and the mask was set so I, I could not move so they pinned me down and then it had to be in exact location so they shot me here but in pinning me down I had a, a kind of a claustrophobic reaction by being pinned down and so I had to work through that. And uh, the chemotherapy was hard on me. The radiation hammered me like a nail. Uh, this is a picture of my feeding tube. Uh, I, there was three months that I could not eat at all. Uh, you pour the liquid into the feeding tube. It's quite an ingenious contraption. And you open it up and it goes into my stomach, but I was not able to eat. In fact, I went for a few months where I was not able to swallow. Uh, and that includes saliva which was really not important after the fact because I didn't have any saliva because the radiation had knocked out my salivary glands, so I had a dry mouth. So this is a picture before the surgery. This, as you can see, it's a robust picture of me at 220 pounds. This is a picture after that. This is at 160 pounds. So uh, you can see from that picture that I have kind of an ashen color. Um, this was at a point where thought I actually might die. Um, I'm pretty optimistic through the whole procedure, but at this point, um, there were certain times where, certain days where all I could do was sit in my chair and cry. There was, I didn't even get up. And that was because of the radiation, and that was because of all the treatments. And uh, for those of you, and, and, and this is addressed to, to younger people who are, who are trying chewing back for the first time, but for those of you who chew, I want to get in a shot here too. For those of you who are already addicted to it, you need to quit. You don't want to go through this. And, 
and I've told people before, if I could touch you on your arm and give you one minute of how I felt during this, this treatment, you would quit in a heartbeat. Why am I, I telling you all this and why am I showing you these pictures? Because I want you to say no. I want you to be able to say no and not start this. It's a very hard addiction to quit. And once you start, it, 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 it's on you. It's all over you. And uh, it's hard to get rid of. So when you do get offered that chew and then somebody says, come on, have a chew. And one of your friends or, or somebody you know asks you to have a chew. I want you to be able to say, what's the tagline now? Okay. The tagline is, no, thank you. I know a guy. Thanks.